Hi everyone, it's Justine here from House of Mahalo. Good to see you, thanks so much for joining me. So, would you believe I'm starting my Christmas projects uh, today? So I thought the first thing that we would make are some um, shakers using CD wallets. So um, I'll just show you what I've got. Um, I have, I'm making four, so I've prepared a few things uh, in advance. So I've got, of course, the CD wallet. Um, I haven't tea stained them or anything. I've just got it as, as is. I've got these, um, this is cut from a card making kit. So it's a bit, um, it's not scrapbooking paper, it's thin and it's got kind of a glossy texture to it. Um, but they just happen to be the right sort of size to be in my window. So I've got a few of those cut. Some of them have sentiments and some of them are just pictures. So I've got uh, two sentiments and two animals. And we're going to have, framing that on the outside, I've got a bunch of wreaths. And these are just cut from Christmas cards that I got last year. Um, and they just happen to be, luck would have it, about the right sort of size to go on there just like that. So that's what we're going to be doing. Um, and one what I want to do first is get all of my um, envelopes stamped up and ready. So I'm just going to get myself organised, um, ready for some stamping, and then we'll work on this uh, project together. So see you in a moment. All right, I'm all set. So I'm going to do some stenciling first. I've got these little dewdrop uh, by Mementos. Um, and we're going to do bamboo leaves and my Flourish stencil. Now I have to remember to do it quite lightly because otherwise this one comes out quite bright green. I just felt like this would give it just a little bit of interest in the background um, because I don't want to tea, tea stain anything or uh, use too many sort of grungy inks in my Christmas journals this year because they are little golden book journals and I don't really feel like um, the sort of grungy inked look will really go with, with that kind of a project. So I'm keeping everything white and where needed I'm just going to use my stenciling and stamping just to give things a little bit of a, an interest. But as I say this is just for the, the background bit. If you do it lightly, I don't know if you can even see that on screen, but it's quite a nice um, botanical green. It's like quite pale, but um, but nice, nice for um, a bit of stenciling. As I say, just for the the background. Oops, got a little bit much. In that. Let's try that. See, so yeah, as you can see, if you do it, you can get it quite dark if you do it like that. Okay, so that's the stenciling done. And then the next thing I want to do is just go over with a bit of gold stamping. Probably won't be able to see it on uh, the video. Um, but I've got this ink pad from Hobbycraft. Just a bog standard one. I got them used on eBay. And I've got this sort of swirly, scripty stamp. And I say it's just for the background. So I'm just going to come in with a bit of this. Again, just to give it a little bit of something in the background. And uh, I don't think I said at the beginning, um, I am planning on making these into journal cards, if I can figure it out. Um, I've never made these before. I'm just sort of using things that I've got in my stash and just doing the usual, <laughs> giving things a go and, uh, you know, seeing if it works out and I'm sure it will. There we are. So yeah, it's very light stamping but it just gives you a little bit of a sparkle when you catch it in the light, which sparkling Christmas time is what it's all about, isn't it? <laughs> so yeah, as I say, it's just a little bit in the background like that. Okay, right, let me get myself cleared away and then we'll do the, the next steps. Okay, so the next step is let's get these pictures in the window. 
Uh, so for this I'm going to use Kalel because it's going to give me a nice bit of wiggle room which is what I'm going to want and with these pictures I've cut them down you know much much smaller than the envelope uh, not for any reason than just A to save paper and B when we put the uh, wreath over the front you only see you know the the sort of central focal image so as I say I was saving paper <laughs> okay so let's get this glued up and uh, let's go for it I'm just slipping that in there, keeping it away from the envelope until I'm ready to, to glue it in place. So it's not quite yet. I want to get it all the way in there. But the good thing about the Kalal, it does give you it does give you a good a good amount of wiggle room. Slide over a little bit, which might be might be where, where we've got it. Let's see. Um, don't know if there's any particular way this is supposed to go, but uh, yeah, that's fine, isn't it? We've got if I position the wreath, you know, in a, a decent place, then you can see the the full bird. So that's worked out fine. So um, let's uh, <laughs> do that for each one then. So I've got this one and this sentiment as I say these are just from a card making pad I think it's by Hunky Dory um, I just ordered it off eBay and um, I wasn't expecting the papers to be glossy I thought it was scrapbooking paper um, I didn't read the description properly probably <laughs> But uh, it, it's it's worked out just fine for you know a few projects and yeah as sentiments it's quite nice. So again, just want to make sure I've got that where I want it. I think that one goes this way. So let's just move that one up just a bit. Trying to work out which way around. I think it's supposed to go that way. I can't really tell. No, it's that way. <laughs> there we go. So that one's not quite as perfect a fit. Uh, the wreath, I mean. Um, but by the time I've embellished it and things, I don't think it's going to matter. Okay. I'm just trying to make sure I keep them. Because I've, I've uh, when I was doing the planning, I was making sure that they would fit nicely within the, um, within the wreaths, you see. And then we've got this one, Joya Noel, and this wreath. As I say, the wreaths are just from Christmas cards. Um, haven't bought anything. They just, um, the, you know, the Christmas cards themselves, they were just, yeah, what I received last year. So putting them to good use this year, <laughs> as we should. Okay, let's slip this in. about right just want to move it over a little bit if I can might have already stuck but you never know you might get a little bit of that wiggle room I think that is almost right I think it will do fine. Um, they are homemade after all. Okay, so that's those. Um, I did have a fourth one, um, which has got our little deer in it. Um, this one I need to add some extra fussy cuts to because I think this wreath was the bottom layer of one of these. 
um, it was like a 3D card um, but I'll just get this one glued on um, but as I say I'll do that one off camera because it was, just requires a little bit extra fiddling about with it but I thought whilst I'm sitting here with the glue just make sure that is central And there we are. I'm going to have a little... <laughs> Can't they cute? Such a cute thing. Right. Okie dokie. So the next thing that we want to do is get our wreaths uh, stuck on, I think. No, we'll do the shaker part first. Um, you know, just in case. So I've got my sequins. Just what I've got in my stash. So I just want to double check that I haven't got any glue in the window um, because we're going to seal up the shakers now. Okay, so let's get some of these. I never know how many sequins to do. Um, I don't want to do like a ridiculous amount, but I want there to be enough of a shape, you know. So let's stick those in. Just got a little bit of glue on the inside there, so let me just do a little bit of a clean up. Okay, we're all set. Um, if you do find that you've got any glue on the inside of your window, just go in with a wet wipe whilst you still can. Now, do you think we need some more sequins? Let's give it a good shake and see, see what we think. got a good amount of shake but you know what <laughs> I've not got anything else to do with these sequins so let's put a few more in why not okay let's try that Yep, so a couple of small handfuls I think is just right. So now all we're going to do is just close up our uh, envelope. I'm going to use a uh, fabric tape for that. Not for any other reason than just I know it's strong. Um, we are going to cover up this flap with a journal space. So it shouldn't come undone or anything, but you never know, do you? Probably overkill, but let's just in with some of this okay and that's going to be there we are basis of our shaker cute cute so let's um try and keep the wreaths together so i don't get them mix and match so let's put in so what did i say a couple of small handfuls Seems too many, doesn't it? I'm <laughs> getting sequins everywhere. That does seem like quite a lot. <laughs> but that's fine. Oh, yeah. Let's do the envelope up before I lose all my sequins everywhere. Did I mention I'm clumsy? <laughs> Stuff like this, I'm always going to get myself in a mess. But that's all the, the fun of it, isn't it? There we are. Okay. Try and get some of these off the desk. <laughs> and not all over the floor. I was just trying to think if you didn't have, you know, Christmas card wreaths or anything. Um, I mean, a lot of Christmas cards do have wreaths on, um, you know, in terms of like if you choose that design or something. I just happened to be lucky enough that I got sent some. 
in the post, you know. Um, but I was just trying to think, you could probably cut something out of a digital um, or a scrapbooking paper. If you've got something that will, essentially it's just a frame, isn't it? You know, to go to go around your um, your window in the in the envelope. So there's lots of ways that you could do these with stuff that you've probably got in your stash, I imagine. Um, or, you know, something that you can print out print out from online. <laughs> I love stuff like this. Just a bit of fun, isn't it? And yeah, good job to get these sequins used up because I've had them in my my stash for a while, doing the odd the odd project here and there with them. probably a way that you could make some kind of like shaker flip out with these but I wanted to keep it relatively simple and easy um which is why I'm, I'm doing all of the envelopes up so you know I know those um sequins are not going anywhere right so shall we I think I'm going to get these uh the wreaths inked up because my cutting is not not amazing um I'm going to use I'm going to try the tea dye um, just for that bit of a softer look and I might go around the envelope as well so I'll do that and then we'll get those stuck down and then this is going to be the uh, the backing this is just scrapbooking paper which was like a fun school exercise book type of a sheet just in my stash from a charity shop so I'm going to get those stuck on the back as well so I'm going to hit pause whilst I get myself all linked up <laughs> the stuff inked not me um and uh, we'll come back and and carry on okay ready let's get gluing so i'm using my art glitter glue and i'm going to go around the edges of the wreath um to get all the edges down obviously <laughs> um but i'm not going to go around the middle the middle circle because um i found i just did a practice one and i found that it made the uh the window too tight for the shaker so although it does shake it doesn't shake as much as I would like so I'm just going to go around the edge here I'm just going to do a bit in the middle like that and pop that down nice and easy These look so cute. Okay, and then I just need to give it a good shake just to, you know, have those sequins be all nice and loose. And there we go, got our shaker. Um, so the difference is with this one, um, I glued the, the middle part. And although it does shake, it doesn't you can feel some tightness there where it doesn't shake quite as well so that's just yeah something to to think about so let's get this one down and uh, then we'll get the the backing on thinking I might stamp a little present in the corner of the the backing so yeah this is a really really simple project if you've got you know the right things lying around and as I say um, don't feel like you can't do this if you don't have wreaths Equally, don't feel like you can't do this if you don't have uh, CD uh, sleeves. Um, you could do a shaker with a junk mail envelope. Um, and then you was, you know, same sort of idea. You put something in the window so you can see it through. An animal, leaves, botanicals, a sentiment, whatever. Um, and then you put your shakers in. And then you just pop something to frame, frame the envelope. And, you know, jobs are good in. So, yeah, don't feel like you can't do this um, if you don't have the exact things that I do. Um, 
Now this one doesn't have a sentiment on it because it's just a robin. So I'm thinking about possibly putting something here. And I don't know if you can see, but I also, where the, the wreath isn't an exact circle, I've got a little bit of a window part showing there. So I'm thinking we can easily um, just put a sentiment there. So we'll do that as well. So again, give it a, a bash. <laughs> Get all those sequins nice and loose. Now I don't often make shakers, so I'm by no means an expert. As per usual, I'm just making it up. <laughs> Doing what I think I should do. There we go. I think that one's okay. That one's a little bit tight. leave those to dry a moment and we'll carry on so I've got these as the backing and I thought it might be cute if it works out to stamp a little present on the back of it and I'm doing it now so that if it goes wrong <laughs> um, I haven't already stuck it to the uh, you know to the, to the back of the envelope Again, I've just got this in my stash. What side? Do it on this side. Right, let's go. Uh, the ink I'm using is Espresso Truffle by Me Memento. Um, now it comes out quite dark, almost black. There we go. Um, but I use it instead of black because it is, you know, not quite as harsh as a black. What do we think? It's kind of cute, isn't it? Right. Yeah, we'll get these done. Again, I'm just using this stamp because I'm actually going to be getting rid of a lot of my Christmas crafting stuff because um, I really don't want to do Christmas crafting next year. Not for any reason. I love doing it. This is so much fun. But it's just because I sell my journals. You know, I have to be making them like you know October <laughs> and it just it, it just it just doesn't work for me whereas if I was doing winter and no Christmas I would still be doing autumn right now um you know and I wouldn't do winter until like November December kind of time and actually to be fair I probably would still be doing autumnal stuff through November actually um, that's what I would prefer to be doing so but I you know I promised myself I would use as much of my like crafting stuff this year as I could um like all the Christmas bits and then whatever I've got left over after I finished doing my ephemera and the journals and everything um then I would just put on eBay or, or something or send out as happy mail you know bits of papers that I've got left over or or whatever um, and I think that just it works better for me creatively I think um, and then if I do want to do a couple of Christmas projects I would just do them in December but without the pressure of um, having to do you know full-blown journals maybe it's kind of what I'm thinking so I'm using my tea dye ink I did say I wouldn't ink but I kind of liked it with the, the tea dye on so I'm gonna do that um, and then we'll get these these stuck on so be back in a moment okay let's get these backings on um so I should have said earlier I've used I used card for these writing spots um because because there's a little bit of bulk from the sequins and the wreath and and stuff like that um the card allows you then to to write on the back of this uh without um you know feeling the bumps on the other side whereas if this was just paper um it would be a little bit uncomfortable to write on i imagine um so that's just yeah something to bear in mind so um if you are going to back these do back them with card equally you don't have to turn them into writing spots they would be just as nice as photo mounts so if you imagine this with um, like a really nice Christmassy scrapbooking paper um, and then you could just have your picture framed on the back. That would be really cute. 
And for these, I'm just going to slip them into pockets. Um, that's all I'm going to do. So yeah, just a really simple make, using up some stuff that I had laying around. And the reason I'm backing them is to hide the, um, well, protect the shaker, because obviously the flap is now glued underneath the card, and obviously to hide the, the back of the envelope, as well as giving it a purpose, you know. So I am pretty happy with those. I might go in with a little bit of extra stamping and stenciling, but for the most part, I think they look really cool and make sure I will need to go in with a bit of extra glue with my fine nozzle, but yeah, just keep giving them a bash until, <laughs> until they work just fine. This one, again, we've got the sentiment, so I'm not going to add anything else to that one, I don't think. Uh, this one, I do need to go in with some extra bits. Um, I just need to cut some stuff off. I think I had another wreath somewhere where I might uh, cut some fussy cuts and just put them on and then this one I'll probably add a sentiment to because it doesn't have one in the window um, so just for that um, I'll do the same with this one with a sentiment so I've just got this Merry Christmas it's just in my stash um, and again I'm trying to hide the part of the window that's showing so I was thinking somewhere there and this is just on paper. Um, I'm hoping that will be okay. I just didn't want to add too much extra bulk. And I only had these printed on paper. So, just to put that across there. Of course, you could add, you know, lace under here and extra, extra layers and things, but. Yeah, these journals are going to be pretty, pretty simple for a change. <laughs> okay. Yeah, might have done that a little bit lower, but um, no, that's absolutely fine. And so yeah, there you go. That is the that's the project. Some CD sleeve shaker uh, journal cards. So that yeah, that's essentially it. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed um seeing those come together um I think they look absolutely fab um so thanks so much for joining me just for this little little simple make um and yeah cute they're gonna look really nice just sitting in pockets ready to be shaken and unwritten on so yeah I hope you I hope you like the idea as I say I was just trying to use up some stuff that I already had laying around so um I encourage you to do the same if you've just got bits and bobs so yeah, thanks so much for keeping me company whilst I made those. And um, I'll be back later this week with some more Christmassy projects, um, which I'll just be getting done, you know, bits and bobs here and there. So speak to you soon then um, and have a lovely rest of your day.